Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sublime Sims, also known as Soft Girl Gaming, and I'm here with a new mini series using the new Sims 4 expansion, Love Struck. This mini series is going to be following my young adult Sim here. Her name is Julissa Rivera. She has just moved into her new apartment and she's going to be navigating not only living on her own, but her love life. She has the traits music lover, loyal, alluring, and love bug. And her aspiration is soulmate. My goal for this series is to have her find a long-term partner and also just explore some new features that came with this pack. I've gotten a chance to play this um, through a live stream and also just on my own in my personal time and I am loving the pack so far. So the first thing I want to do really quick is show you guys her apartment and her outfits and then we'll get into some gameplay. Okay, one thing I have to say is I am loving the cast items we got with this pack. This is Julissa's everyday main outfit. I did give her two others, so I'll show you guys those. But this is her main everyday. I wanted her to have like a girly style, but also sometimes like a little more just comfortable and casual. So I also gave her this outfit as like just running around town, maybe doing some errands, but again, want to be comfortable. And then I also gave her this little cozy outfit. I feel like this is when she's like being productive at home, maybe going for a grocery run or something. This is her formal. I think this jumpsuit is so cute on her and I love the back. Like I'm so glad that they went with the low back for this and then the little bow on top. I kept it simple for her active wear. I really wanted to do something pink, but I just wasn't really liking the options that we have. Now for sleepwear, I gave her this little set that I'm also obsessed with, and then she also has another one. I gave her this one. This is from a different pack. Um, I believe it's called Simstimates. So I gave her this one too. Now for party, she got three outfits because too many things look good on her. So this is one of my favorite dresses that comes with this pack because it could be an everyday dress or a special occasion dress. And it really reminds me of Skims. So that is her everyday, or sorry, that is her party. I also gave her this coordinating set and decided to put her here straightened and down just to switch it up. I love this set too. And then last, we have this little black dress. I just feel like every girl needs a little black dress. So this is her final party look. For the swimwear, I kept it pretty simple. I just did this green wrapped one piece. And this is her hot weather. I just wanted something very feminine and girly. I think this looks so good on her. And last up, this is her cold weather. I was mainly just trying to use items from the pack, but I still like this. I think it's very casual, cute, and practical. I did give her some heeled boots though to keep it on the girly side. So those are all of her looks. And then she also does have a cat. So I'll just show you guys her cat really quickly. This is Marilyn and she is a rag doll. I gave her the traits friendly, affectionate, and I believe she has lazy because of her breed. Now Julissa is living in this big apartment building in the new world and I am obsessed with this. I will be sure to put this in the description because I actually found this on the gallery and it is perfect, like perfect. It has six units and my sim is just living in a one bedroom, one bath and look at everything around her. Like this is also prime location I feel like. Let me give you guys a closer look at the actual unit. I'm going to pause it for a second. So let me just do the bird's eye view. Um, my camera does not move very smoothly in the apartment, kind of like when you're playing in Samai Shuno. Um, so from the top down, this is what it looks like. She's pretty much got just enough space for what she needs. 
Um, I do feel like she has enough space though, because it is just her living alone. I did use a lot of the new items. I love these little lights on the wall, the new bed. I also used the new shower and the window that comes with it. And then I was sure to give her a couple of things on her little balcony too. I did mention Julissa is new in town. So this is the welcome wagon that's going on right now. I placed these two sims yesterday. So we have Anastasia and then we also have Cleo. I am actually using them for my live stream. So if you tune into my Twitch, you should see them around. And then this is a townie, I believe that comes with the pack. Um, his name is Carlos. Now I really don't know anything about him. Um, like, I don't know if he's single or not or anything, but he's not really someone that I'm considering for her, at least right now. I'm definitely going to be using the dating app. Okay, look at her being a good host, cleaning up autonomously. I think I just want to have her try to get to know these two girls because I definitely think they should become friends and they would all look so cute together. Okay, let's try to get to know both of them a little better. Okay, she learned that Cleo is a romantic. And Anastasia is as well. Let's talk about their interests. Y'all, they're just all so cute. Also ignore her dirty litter box in the background. We're going to clean that later because she also needs to do some laundry. Marilyn is a mood. She's just knocked out right here. Okay, Julissa learned that she has the romance skill. It looks like our welcome wagon is wrapping up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have her clean this. And let me show you guys really quick too um, some of the amenities in this building. So these are all units, of course. And then downstairs, there is a work from home office. We have a little laundromat, which I love. And then there's also a gym, which I really love because if you don't feel like traveling, you can just walk right downstairs. Oh, also, really glad I just went down there. This bear I have seen around town. Um, so I am assuming that he hangs around so that you can ask questions about how different things within the pack work. I probably will not really be interacting with him. Um, but yeah, just in case you see him in town and you need some help, that's who you go to. Speaking of laundry, let's go ahead and have her get started on that. Um, I think she would like high energy sims. I'm gonna say yes. All right, let's get our laundry started. She did eat breakfast, but wait, what is this stuff? Is it snacks? I've actually never seen this vending machine. Oh, yogurt melt. Um, let's have not chicken nuggets from the vending machine. Let's try the yogurt melts while she's waiting. Oh no, I think it's taking her money. Y'all, if this kills her, I swear I'm I'm quitting without saving. Okay, perfect. It worked. All right, let's have her sit here and have her little snack. She is such a cute Sim, and I'm loving that the little plate matches her vibe. So now I think for her, we're going to take off Elders. I did use this um, when I was playing last night for my other Sims just for fun, but because she is dating seriously, I don't see her being with an Elder. Definitely either a young adult or adult. 
Um, I like the traits that she has showing love bug and music lover. So we're going to leave those. Now let's see if we can find any good matches for her. Um, definitely going to say no to Cameron for being mean. Um, I feel like this sim could be okay with a little bit of work, but let's just see who else we have. I don't like that this guy is hot-headed. Uh, no, and I don't need to give an explanation. Also, no. Kleptomaniac, no, because you can't be trusted. Okay, let's just match with the one guy, even though I don't really think he's going to be... Um, or wait, he's hot-headed too. Okay, I'm going to try to refresh this. Now, one thing about this pack, the only crash I have had is in Cupid's Corner. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to have problems today. Y'all, what are these options? Uh, he looks mostly normal. All right, well, just, just for the sake of having somebody, not Tanya, Marcus. I know you're lying. I feel like it's a canon event. We have to do it. Jules, that's too close to her name. We'll start with two. So now that she has them as matches, we can add them to um, her contacts. I'm not going to hit them up right away, though. Let's just add them just in case. Remaining number of sims you can interact with today. So there is a cap. I forgot about that. There's a cap for how many people you can have at once. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to have her finish up her laundry. Still waiting on it to finish, but I'm going to have her finish up her laundry. And then this evening, we're going to go out with her to the singles hangout. Okay, you guys, we've made it to the nightclub. So inside, I have um, Julissa here, and she decided to invite the girls she met out. So we have Anastasia and Cleo. I did go ahead and order them some drinks. And while we're here, so Cleo is actually yeah, seeing this sad. sim right here, Nathan. Don't ask me why he doesn't have a shirt. I truly do not know. Also, the first time I came here, Anastasia met Mortimer Goth, and they are in a relationship. Now, I think this sim right here is really cute, and him and um, Cleo are kind of getting to know each other, but they have no romance built up, so I think I want her to try a romantic introduction with him. Because I am pretty sure that these two are going to end up, so I honestly don't think Cleo would care. And Cleo is also non-committal, so she doesn't even know, like, how she feels about a relationship yet. Okay, I think she introduced herself. Or no, she didn't, not yet. Wait, where did he just go? Is he leaving? No, that was the sim I wanted her to get to know. I think this is an older sim. Yeah, he's kind of old. Alan isn't bad looking. He's an adult. I want to try to get a young adult for her first. The options were kind of limited, so I decided to invite her match over to the club. So this is Lewis. We're going to ignore the 444, but this is Lewis. So I just have them chatting a little bit, and then she's going to try to sneak in a flirtatious joke. Okay, looks like it's going well so far. I don't want to have her dance just yet. Sharuna. Let's try to get to know him a little bit before we make any moves. So we'll get to know and then share some of her personality quirks so that he knows a little bit about her. 
Stevie Fleena. Shelsh. Uh -huh. Parsegap Rebe. <laughs> Mara Noy. Uh -huh. Girga Zens. Uh -huh. Oh, family oriented is a good treat. Shinoy. Pakyoin Limla. Kibaya. Okay, so now he's aware of her personality trait. Girl, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I want to try to have her flirt a little bit just to make sure that he's interested. Okay, I definitely think that he is interested. I know she wants to dance really bad, so let me see if there's a spot for them. Offer a seductive dance? No, we're not there yet. Oh my gosh, he's flirting with her. They're definitely into each other, but I'm just not sold on him. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just not sold on him. He doesn't look like her match, but I'm going to try to not be shallow and we'll just see. But it looks like they are hitting it off. Oh, what was that? This is their satisfaction meter, I think. They have a strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. Okay. Maybe we should have them try woohoo. The game, not the actual woohoo. This is so cute. I don't know, something about him. I know he's a young adult, but he kind of looks like a baby. Maybe that's what it is, is that he looks younger than her. Okay, let's see what her buffs are. Romantic atmosphere, smitten sounds from listening to romance music, and feeling fulfilled. Julissa is feeling fantastic knowing her relationship is in good standing, but does wonder if her partner feels the same. So let's open up his sim profile because obviously no one has asked anyone to be in an exclusive relationship. So we know all of his traits. They have the love for um, relationship. Um, we don't know anything about his attraction level or satisfaction. She feels satisfied, but does feel neutral in her attraction to him. But that could just be because she still like has more to find out about him. So I think he's somebody that she'll get to know, but I think she should keep like exploring her options. Okay, I had her go down to get some food because she was getting pretty hungry, but I'm going to have her head home. So let's just give him a hug on our way out. Nothing too crazy because they just met and I don't really know if it's going to go anywhere just yet. But it looks like she is really happy with her night. So let's go ahead and have her go home because tomorrow she's going to get a job. All right, it's the next morning at about 8.30, so it's time for her to get up and start the day. Um, I'm going to have her make some breakfast, and we probably need to go ahead and feed Marilyn. Now, this is a new sim, so she really doesn't have um, many skills. We're just going to stick with fruit salad because I don't want to deal with a fire right now. Her fruit salad is done, so I want to go in and have her find a job. I am definitely putting her into the new career. Um, it has two branches once you get high enough. I am definitely leaning towards having her be a matchmaker, but the other option is to be like a counselor, which I think they could both be good. But I feel like, especially with her like loving love, that she would get a lot of fulfillment out of matchmaking. Okay, so this is it. Romance consultant. Are you a natural at interpreting feelings, a sucker for romance, and interested in helping others find their happily ever after? You may be destined to become a romance consultant. This is 20 Somalians an hour, Monday to Friday, and 9 to 5. Now, her rent is quite literally like 60 Somalians a day, so this is fine. Um, we'll have her jump on her work-from-home task. 
And then after she's done with her work from home and like morning hygiene, we're going to have her head out to one more meetup. All right, y'all. She is on a date with none other than Don Lothario. So let's just see how this goes. Um, I'm in doing the one where you just get to know, not the romantic one. So let's just start off with something light. We're just going to talk about our interests with each other. For the activities, I put friendly interactions, romantic interactions, um, sky gazing, and playing instruments because she does play guitar. So I made sure to pass that and maybe she'll play him a song. I don't really feel like they have the look either where they just kind of go, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're going to hit it off. I love this little picnic blanket, though. Like, how cute is this? All right, I'm going to have her go ahead and try to flirt. Let's see how this goes. Of course, he's receptive. I am not surprised at all. Let's also compliment his appearance. He's like, who, me? Alright, let's have them go ahead and watch the sky. Oh, look how cute! I love this. Let's get a better look. <laughs> they just wrapped up watching the clouds, so I'm just having them talk about it now. I think we'll go ahead. Let's have her play a song for him. I think that would be like a cute thing. Um, We're going to play... Let's meet again. I don't know the song, but I just feel like the title fits the occasion. She's like, all right, let me stand up for this. Okay, after she just had her little solo, <laughs> let's talk about it and see what he thought. She only has level three, y'all, so don't judge her too hard, okay? Let's just have a little bit of small talk. Um, we'll ask him what his career is, and maybe we'll get to know him a little bit better. Um, get to know... Let's also share a little bit about herself. Oh, he's a waiter? I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think it was that. Um, share my personality, or let's share some personal details. Okay, so he's learned her career. Let's also, we need to talk about interests again, so we'll do that. One thing I will say that I'm not a huge fan of is, I guess, unless you add, like, a lot of activities, I do feel like the date activities get very repetitive, and you have to kind of keep doing the same things if you care about getting, you know, like, a gold rating. Um, we don't really have any good options for this. Uh... I don't even know if she's attracted to him, so I don't really want to do this. But just for the sake of having a good date, let's just do it. I don't even think I have anything cute that we can gift him. Um, What about her free earbuds? Oh gosh, what if he doesn't even like gift giving? I think he does like it, because now they have um a little bar. Oh, he gave her a rose. This is going well. Um, Share deep thoughts. I think that would be a good idea. We're going to have them do a deep conversation, and also 
let I don't want to ask him about his recent dates. Talk about healthy relationships. My heart leaps when you're near. I love you more and more each and every day. You just met us. How do you love us? How do you know? Okay, y'all. She just got a gold date with Don. It just ended. Amazing date. Julissa is bouncing off the walls with excitement after that date. She can't wait to gush to other Sims about such an amazing time. Um, look at him because the date is over. And he just gave her a kiss before he left. Wow, that was such a legendary date. Your sim was on fire out there. There's a gift in your sim's inventory to help you remember such a great time. So we got a little portrait from our date. So it just gives you a picture of them together. I'm going to put it in her room along with the rose that he gave us. She also got credit towards her aspiration because she went on a date. So I'm going to have her head home and wind down for the night, but she had a very successful date with him. All right, y'all. She made it home and got cleaned up, started winding down for the night. So she is just giving Marilyn some much needed attention after her busy day. But I think this is a great place for me to wrap up this episode. I am really enjoying this pack so far. My only con is that the second day of having it, I am starting to experience crashing, but I'm hoping that this is just a kink that needs to be, you know, worked out. Other than that, I'm loving the items. I love the new interactions and the new gameplay, and I also really love my sim. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments, and if you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe. I will still be doing an expansion pack giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. Thanks again for watching.